We're taking a closer look at gun safety here in Ohio. Over the years, state lawmakers have loosened gun laws, making firearms easier to buy, easier to sell, and easier to carry with or without a permit. So what is the state doing to keep guns out of the hands of criminals and prevent future tragedies? It's a question I posed to Governor DeWine in my exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. The governor, if you remember, was under fire to push for stricter gun laws in the state in the wake of the 2019 mass shooting in Dayton that left nine people dead. He tells me the legislature did not approve his proposal that would allow families to petition a court to remove firearms from someone who was an addict or having mental health crisis. DeWine says as a former prosecutor and attorney general, he saw cases where that was needed. What we ended up with is someone, the family would call the police and you'd end up with either a police officer getting shot or you'd end up with the, uh, with the, your brother or your sister or your child, uh, you know, getting shot and maybe getting killed. There's just, we need to find a solution to this. And I think that what I have proposed to the legislature would in fact make sense. I think it's clearly constitutionally it protects the second member right no one's going to take guns away from anybody except through a court hearing where there's due process and that proposal is is still on the table I also asked the governor about the November 7th election and his opposition to issue one, which would constitutionally protect abortion rights in Ohio. His answer sparked more questions, and you'll hear more on that, NBC4 at 11, and also on the Spectrum at 10 o'clock Sunday morning.